it's Sarah. I'm working on another one of Tracy Moreau's Random Acts of Kindness. And this one is for Easter. So it's a little bunny pin. And I am making them from these little hearts. Let's say these are, let's see, it says they're an inch and a half by what? Three eighths? Oh, I don't know. They're an inch and a half. Let's see. Yeah, they're like an inch and a half around. And because she gives you the pattern, but I've just been kind of winging it. This is the pattern. And she tells you where you can order the little half egg shapes and make a little bunny. And this is just out of watercolor paper. So I've cut, I did mine pointy, but I think the next batch I'm going to round them out. And look at him. Look how cute. I had, I, I'm telling you guys, I'm really trying to use what I have. <clears throat> so instead of ordering all the stuff for this, I just used what I had. Anyway, the colors I use what I have. These are little, I don't know, I think I got these, I ordered these from, um, Oh my gosh, I, I don't remember. But anyway, when I was making my art dolls, they're little like laser cut out of, I don't know what the material is. It seems like it's wood, but they're all different glasses. And I just love him with his little glasses. So cute. They're super simple. So I'm going to show you how I did them. And then I also found this little bag of what? What are these? Googly eyes. So I had googly eyes, so I threw a couple googly eyes on this one. I put googly eyes on this one. And then this is basically the one that, um, the way that Tracy said to do it. I put a little inspirational word on the back, put my name and the date, well the year, and a pin. And it's an Easter pin. And um, she also uses these flowers. It says they are from Hobby Lobby by the Paper Factory. They're called Poppies and Papery, and I know I have these in my stash. They're just super tiny little um, sparkly flowers. And because her piece is an egg, it has a lot more room. She put like one, two, three, four of them on there. And it just looks really cute and springy. See, hers is so different from mine. Because I wasn't really looking at it that much, and I just kind of winged it. I think I'm going to make the next batch I make with like a smaller nose and a little bit of a smaller mouth. But I think they're adorable. So I just went through and found any little flowers that I had. So I put this purple flower on him. And what else? Look, I put these little heart-shaped glasses on him. So I have to make more ears, so I'm going to show you how I do that. So I cut a piece of, um, what is this called, watercolor paper. This is actually a, wait, a much heavier weight. Anyway, I cut a strip down to about uh, an inch and a half, two and a half inches of a strip. So I'm going to paint that with buttermilk. She has us using... Uh, oyster beige and I don't have oyster beige so I just decided to use this color which is called buttermilk because it's a little bit brown and it's a little bit white but I can use I can highlight with like a lighter color and I can anyway shade with a darker so let me just get my brush I'm gonna add a little water to my brush and this is just watercolor paper and I'm just gonna paint it I don't know if this is how she had you do it. I think, I mean, I could read the directions to you, but I kind of just went on my own. And basically, you're gonna get this on both sides because you see, when you, when you curl it back, and I painted both sides of my hearts with uh, two coats and I sanded them with the buttermilk. Sorry, I have a brush in my mouth, so that's why it's, I sound funny. Um, yeah, and I think I'm going to be painting some more. Um, 
I want to do my little, it's not a troll, it is a, what is it called? I always say troll, but it's not a troll. It's um, a gnome. That's what it is. I might as well. See, I did this in a different color. I think it was called, um, let's see, it was called antique white, I think, and it was just too brown. Although a bunny can be any color you want. You don't have, that's what I'm saying, so use what you have. I just didn't have the oyster beige, so I thought it needed to be a more beigey color, but then I thought, no, it could just be this color. It's fine. Sometimes I'll use the color that I have the most of. Sometimes I buy bottles of paint when I don't know I have it, and then I have extra bottles, like I have a bunch of antique white, so I figured or whatever this is, buttermilk. And it's going to stick to the paper, so that was a mistake. I got little stripes on there. That's funny. But I can just cover that up. So I'm just going to let it sit for a minute. And I'm going to show you what I did. So I did actually trace. She has the pattern on here, so I traced it out. And then I thought, why am I doing that? Because you can just make an ear shape super easy. You don't need to, um, I'm hot. I'm having a hot flash. Oh, <sighs> anywho. Um, so what you're going to do is just take these and make little ear shapes on here. So little, um, let me do, no, it's fine. All right. And then I think she had you using what color did she choose cotton candy and i have hydrangea pink it's just a light color pink it's going to be fine and i'm going to take like a round a number three round or something um yeah that looks good oh it's a mess these brushes are a mess and i'm just gonna make the center of the ears like a little pink center. This brush is pretty toe up, you can tell. But, oh gosh. I'm not really worrying about it too much guys, I'm just putting it on there. I'm going to do a couple while I'm at it because I, I did a lot of bunnies already and I didn't make their earless bunnies right now. They have no ears. I'm not really um, being real careful as you can tell. So let's just let, I'm going to let them dry a little bit. And I'll come over here to show you how I make this little bunny. I decided to turn my hearts upside down. I just like the way that looks because it gives them a little chubby cheek kind of area and a pointy head, but you could do it this way, I'm sure, and put the little ears that way too. It would look super cute, but I think I'm gonna keep it, keep going this way. I like it. And you could use a square shape, you could use whatever, oh, I'm shaking it like the bobbly ears or whatever. But they're so cute. And the first thing I wanna do is give them a little dry brush cheek and I'm just going to, oops, put it right here on these two little areas. And I have plenty of pink on my brush, but you need to reload. So I'm going to go in, and I'm using, um, she uses dragon fruit, but I have royal fuchsia. So, and it looks pretty cute, so I'm just going to put a little fresh paint out because we just ate dinner. And this has still got paint on it, but you don't want to um, <clears throat> wet this brush because to dry brush, you need a dry brush. <coughs> so this is what you do. Load it. You put it in the paint, and then I want to wipe off the main part of paint. Kind of pounce a little to get it down in there. And then you want a clean paper towel. These are shop towels, and this actually feels a little damp find a dry spot and just kind of I really just want a tiny bit of paint on here 
and I'm going to gently scrub a little. Like I'm going to just, in a circular motion, There is a trick to dry brushing. It's, it's not an easy technique because it, it really comes down to how you load the brush. If it's too wet, you're going to get lines and, you know, it, it, is, it is difficult. Um, this brush is the Silver Coal Dry Blending Brush by um, oh, Debbie Cole, I think her name is. Wait a minute. Debbie Cole? Anywho, I want to order more of these because these are the most, see, and I mean, that's pretty good. It's kind of dark. I don't love it that dark, but I, that's how I've been doing it. So I'd like it to be a little lighter. I'm just going to not push as hard and see if I can get a little lighter result. But it takes time. Just let it kind of gradually build. That's a little lighter, right? But my brush would need to be re reloaded if I was going to do it again. I'm going to put a little pink nose. The same color pink that we just used to do the um, inside of the ears, which I might as well put another coat. Like just, I mean, I really don't need to because I'm just going to shade it. And yeah, it's opaque enough looking. You really don't see, a, like, see, by the time you put the line work and all that, it looks perfectly fine. So these are super quick. Um, so anywho, I'm doing that. Now I'm going to, I want to switch brushes because I'm just going to use a little bit of a smaller brush. Because I want to make smaller noses. I've been making the noses really big. I want to give them a little, a little nose. These two are going to have little noses. So I think... Including these, this would be 10. I've made 10 of these. And when you do it like assembly line, it really works up quick. And you know what? I just did these opposite. I did this one pointy at the top and wide at the bottom, and this one wide at the top and pointy at the bottom, which I actually like this one better. I'm going to take it off. If the paint's still wet you can always take it off just be careful you don't hit your um cheeks and that's basically it for that color like that's it uh let me put this one on so i think the rest of my bunnies are all done these guys i'm just not sure if i'm going to put the glasses on them which i really do like them with glasses um because the eyes are um dip dots, or I could put on some more jiggly eyes, so I'm not sure. But for right now, let's see. I'm just making these small. So it's basically a little triangle. You can trace it on. Tracy gives you the, um, the pattern. So uh, you can trace it on, but I just wanted to try a smaller version of a nose. So I'm going to set those aside while they dry, and I'm going to show you, um, finish up these ears. And this isn't in the directions, guys. This is just me doing whatever I want and making them cute. And she absolutely says that's okay to do, because how is she going to stop me, huh? How is she going to stop me? All right. So now I'm going to take my lighter color white, which is... I think light ivory so it's a tad lighter than that and I'm just gonna highlight a little bit on the tip of the ear which you know what you don't even really see so it's just for my own my own benefit because I'm gonna t bend it and it's not even gonna be able to be seen when I when I curl it like this right so it's kind of dumb of me it's not dumb it's just it's not necessary And I'm doing it before I even cut it out. And then when I cut it out, it'll be, I mean, the paint won't even, 
uh, if I go out of the lines is what I'm trying to say. So now I'm taking that same color that I did the cheeks with and I'm going to um, shade in the pink area. I got to walk this back a little because I'm so heavy handed. more eerie. I have to turn off the fan. Um, and then when I cut that out, it'll be terrific. I should do this one while I'm at it too. Um, so you guys, I, uh, what else is going on? I did finish my sugar skulls. I'm going to make Rachel a um, picture frame. My niece Rachel is having a baby girl in May, Catalina, and I decided to make her a little picture frame, just a thin one, not one of the, the thicker usual ones that I do for my um, polymer clay mosaics, but I'm just going to do a button one because I'm going to use those little um, like um, resin pieces that I got to. I'll show you. So I'm working on that, and then I do want to finish my tr my gnome. He's not a troll. He's a gnome. Um, all right, I'm going to shade the little side of the nose. Eh, you can see it. I just wanted to see what it would look like much smaller, but maybe it's too small. That's small, all right. Um, and then there's a little shade that she did to kind of create the muzzle or whatever that's called, the little part that sticks out. Like, it should be right over his nose. It shouldn't be up as high as I have it on that one. I don't know, I think, let's see. Yeah, it should kind of be right above his nose but it's fine it's a little pin when the pin police come just send them to me tell them Sarah made me do it all right so I'm getting asphaltum and I'm gonna try and just keep it subtle and with the color going up so you want you want it to just sit look like a yeah it doesn't it doesn't really look like it a muzzle or whatever. I just want to create a little shadow where his eyeballs are going to sit. So I'm going to just just do that. It is what it is. And then I think oh I might as well shade a little bit with the light buttermilk. Um, just to give it a little highlight. I don't even know if you can tell, but yeah, you can tell. Around the edges, I did a little white just to get it a little happier. Like some of them I really, like this one you can see it like really well because it kind of went over the cheek, but I like the way that looks. She had us dry brushing it and I'm not a good dry brusher and my, my brush already has pink on it and I didn't want to clean my brush so I decided to float it. There, you got the real deal. I'm using a floating technique. Those of you who watch my videos or those of you who don't, go back and watch some and you will see this technique. It's a decorative painting technique that um, you use to shade and highlight pieces with acrylic paint and I like it. I like to do it. I think it. Give, I'm good at it, so I do it. All right. I think we're ready to. Oh, I didn't put it on my. Um, my ears. Let me just put it on my ears. Sorry, Charlie. I ran out of paint. Cause I'm gonna cut them out in a sec. My neighbors have a little miniature poodle named Charlie. He is so cute. I would get a miniature poodle. We have a big poodle. 
but Charlie is so cute. Oh my god. I don't know if he's full poodle or if he's like a mix, but man, Charlie is a cutie pie. Um, all right. So, the next thing you want to do, I'm just going to dry, dry it faster. Because you're going to use your Micron. This is a, let's see what she has you using. See, she has all this stuff. Uh, I saw it on here. I don't know where it is. Oh, here. Micron or pit pen, 0.5 pin and pin backs. This is a 01. I don't know if that's a 0.5 or whatever, but this is what I used and I like it. So you're going to just take this. And she kind of, if you look at her little direction thing, she kind of made, see how she made it look like a little furry or something? So don't. It doesn't have to be a fully complete line because actually your ears are going to be. So I just kind of went like this, but I like that. I might put a few of them in there. And then just kind of, that looks cute. Made it look a little furrier. Oh, I like that technique. I'm such a copycat, it's not even, I'm serious, like, I, I just wouldn't know what to do without other people thinking of stuff. Tracy's so generous to, um, give us this, um, these patterns. And then, you're also going to use your, uh, little pen on your little faces, and you're going to outline your nose. And I'm going to make a smaller little mouth. That looks cute. Yeah, it's crooked. Um, much smaller. I'm going to keep the mouth a little bigger. I like that. And then you can do eyes, which I will do... I just, I could just do them the way that she did them originally. That's how she did them. But I just want to do the googly eyes. Because I have googly eyes. So basically, if you did the dip dot, you would just do a dip dot and then a little dip dot. And then you could put eyebrows and eyelashes. She doesn't have any eyebrows, but I like uh, eyebrows. They give them personality. <laughs> Um, I'm using my Weld Bond glue, and I'm just using a little um, paintbrush to put the glue on with. It only takes a little bit, and the ears stick really well, too. So let's see. I'm going to take... Can you see what I'm doing? I don't like when I get it on. The only thing I'm nervous about is the Micron pen getting wet and it's going to smudge the black. So I, I really get nervous when it comes to that stuff. And I could have just took off um, the cheeks. I think the cheeks are probably dry by now. I'm just touching it. But that looks so cute. I'm going to make sure they're, oh, they're even. It's not exactly even. I don't want it to touch the nose. All right. I, I take it so seriously, don't I, you guys? But, you know, I, I can't help it. It's my creation. You can put um, a couple of little eyelashes kind of sticking out. And a little eyebrow. 
I like to do and maybe a little eyelash down here and then there's three whiskers um, that's how she had it isn't that adorable stop and then you're gonna cut out your little ears and I was gonna change the shape but I'm just gonna keep them the way they are I'm gonna round off the next ones I make because um, I just like to have um, variety I don't like everything the same all the time that's just me so again I'm just gonna use oh first you want to curl them because it's just easier for me so I'm gonna take this like what is this a crochet hook and just kind of curl it this is I told you this is watercolor paper and I just got it dirty I think there's paint on this probably because I was I'm a mess today like I tell you this was not an easy clean process I just got dirt all over it but anyway so then I would just take it and kind of center it up look how cute oh my gosh these are this is cute because it's more in the middle of the face I like that all right so I'm just gonna take my glue brush again and a little glue I'm just gonna hold it oopsie like this and put it like that And just kind of center it up like that. Ugh, slippery little sucker. And that's it. And then she wants you, I should have signed it first. I'll show you. So you can take this, sign your name, 2020. And I'm going to put um, courage. I've been putting a word on the back of them. This one has grateful. This one has hope, I think. Yep. Anywho, this one has love. So little affirmations or whatever you want to call them. So that is it. Oh, and then the flowers. So I have these kind of flowers, which I think we all probably have in our stash. I really like the purple, but let's do a blue one of these blues or I have these little roses that could be cute or one of these little guys these like what are these um flat backs see her egg is not it doesn't have like but that looks cute like I could just glue it right there I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna because anything, whatever you want to do, guys. Actually, I'm going to put it over here because I've been putting everything on the, the right. I'm going to put this on the left. Just to keep the variety going. Kind of hanging off a little. Come on, it's too cute. Oops, and I just love those googly eyes. I just happen to have them. And they, they're like the perfect proportion or the perfect... Um, Anywho, cute, right? So that's it. Um, let me see. Should I put some glasses on this one? I'm going to put these glasses on this one. They're too, that's just too cute. So what I do is I take the glue and really I just, I'm going to put it on my finger and just gently tap it. Oop, you can't even see what I'm doing tap it on the one side of it and then just kind of line it up so cute and then um, it looks a little crooked but that's okay the eyes for this one and I probably should have put the eyebrows and all that on first but that's okay where's my micron oh uh, no um, my black. I need black. So we're going to make a black dip dot. And I'm just going to use the back of a um, the back of, my, of a brush. 
and just center it kind of in the middle of where the glasses the glass would be so cute oh my god I get excited and then once that's dry a little bit I will add a white dot and then I will also add little eyelashes oh you know what he needs is his little um see I've been going crazy with the um, whiskers it's so like I want to show you a more controlled whisker like this is a little bit more controlled because hers are very jaggly and stuff like this was a crazy whisker this guy's crazy looking he's crazy looking this one's a little more controlled but some of my whiskers were just like really not whiskery looking at all this one has decent whiskers but I want to make these a lot more like controlled so I'm just gonna go kind of straight yeah good enough she had you me doing it with um, a stylus too like making the little dots of the whisker I mean, you could go nuts. You know, you can just really make it your own. Um, so that's it, you guys. Thank you so much, Tracy, for um, creating these little projects for us that we can just do and we don't have to think about them. One, two, three. One, two, three. I'm going to make them like freckles. But I think I should make them. No, I'm just going to leave it like that. I'm not going to give him, I'm going to give him little eyelashes. And I didn't give him his eyebrows. Uh, ears, right? Some more ears. All right, that's basically it, though. I just wanted you guys to see all the different versions that you can do playing around with these little Easter pins look at all these little faces so cute I'm sorry I'm not in the shot all right you guys I'm gonna put in the description box where you can go to get your own little Easter bunny pin project and um, it's not quite Easter yet but anywho Thanks for watching.